All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use Tasker, Auto Voice, and KOWP to make probably what's going to be one of the most useful uh, pieces, to me at least, um, because uh, I, got, I get cases of CRS, can't remember... But uh, yeah, you know, we can use Tasker, Auto Voice, and KLWP together um, to create what I think is uh, a quite useful and a great application um, for our everyday lives. You know, you check, you use your phone to check email, text messages, check your calendar, um, but you have your phone on you sometimes too when you're like, hey, I need to remember to do something. So this is a to-do list. And let me go ahead and show you what we can do here. Watch this. Add cook supper to my list. Notice cook supper pops up at the top. Let's do it again. Add hippopotamus to my list. There you go. And uh, not only that, check this out. Suppose um, I've already cooked supper. Notice cook supper is like item number two in my list. Um, this is item number one, item number two, item number three, four, five, six, seven, and so forth. So let's go ahead and mess around with this a little bit more. Remove item number two from my list. I don't know if you just saw that, but item number two just did disappear. Let's remove this last item. So that's item number one, two, three, four, five, six. Remove item number six from my list. Notice inspection just disappeared. Now, sometimes I do find that's what this tutorial is going to be geared towards, showing you how to do this. Uh, it's not as bad as you may think. But not only that, I also found sometimes it doesn't recognize my voice real well. So check this out. This is going to be in a future tutorial, like a part two. But I can use the plus to manually type in some stuff. For example, um, let's just say, uh, let me put in inspection again. So notice I'm typing in inspection, and it's going to add it to my list. Um, you can continue to add things, and as you add things, they'll fly up at the top of your list. So uh, what else? Um, trash, whatever. Add it, boom. And now we can actually remove item numbers like this. This is using Tasker. So this is item one, item two. I want to remove item number one because I don't have to take out the trash. So remove item number to remove, item number one, boom, trash is gone. So first part of the tutorial. I hope you're excited about this one because it's going to be a great help to me. I mean, I have all these things I have to do, uh, not hippopotamus. So let's go ahead and get rid of item number two. Remember, we can do it this way or we can verbally tell it. So nonetheless, let's go ahead and have a look. Most of this is going to be done in Tasker. So with all that said, I'm going to minimize this just for a moment and let's go into Tasker and have a look. All right, so inside of Tasker, what we want to do, the scenes, that's not going to be applied here. What we want to do is we want to create uh, some profiles. And I tell you what, while I got this going on, I want to go ahead and rename this one. This is the clear list. So let me go ahead and Clear list. I wonder why it's not letting me. I thought I had fixed my keyboard, but I haven't. So clear list. All right. No big deal. All right. So three profiles, and we are going to go in, uh, I guess, the order that I made it. Why not? Add item to my list. So if I click on that profile, it's an auto voice recognize. So you can rename the profile whatever you want, but auto voice recognize, and I'm going to show you this command. The way you do that, you go to plus, you go event. And then you're going to go, I just type in auto voice recognize. That one right there, that's the one you want to pick. But I'm not going to do that since I've already done it. So inside of auto voice recognize, this is the uh, profile that we want to create. I'm going to tap on that. And what I did is um, over here, auto voice variables. This is why I'm showing you this part of the screen. What we can do is we can let auto voice recognize our voice. We can put a command in and we can create a variable from our voice. And the way I figured this out, right down here, um, it used to be an old way to do it, but the new way now, I've never done this until the other day, but it says, uh, you know, if we want to create a variable, we have to type in things like this. So that's what's going to create our variable. And then it's a little bit of regex in here too, um, where assuming, I think the dot and the plus, uh, the dot plus means one or more characters. Notice that right there. So, you know, regex, I'm learning, learning about it as I go. 
Uh, I also got to share something funny with you at the end uh, with some regex. I'm going to share it with you once I get into KOWP. This little uh, code here, if you will, is what we're going to do, except now notice how I got my configuration for this. The command filter, notice when I was adding things to my list, I would say add something to my list. So I want to create a variable, and it's uh, the variable is going to be item. And by me doing that, you don't necessarily have, I don't think you have to make that capitalized. Um, I tell you what, let's go ahead and, and see if that, I, I'm pretty sure that's still going to work. And the reason why that's going to work, let me check this. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's talk about this a little bit more. So notice I'm typing in everything with the parentheses, the question mark, the little uh, greater than, less than symbols, and I'm putting item. That's what's going to create that variable. And then I say, add whatever to my list. And that's what I've been saying at the first part of this tutorial. So that with the regex, make sure you have use regex checked. With that in mind, nothing else in here I don't really worry about. And then once it's done that, once it recognized that I said this, I want to run this task here. It's called a to-do list. And we're going to be just fine. I'm pretty sure by me changing that capital I to a lowercase i, it's, not, it's going to be just fine. We'll double check that right here in a second. But um, what I want to do is I want to take that item and I want to put it into an array. And I want to push it into an array. An array is going to be a, a list of things. Notice that list that you saw that kept on going. And as each new item, I said, add this to my list, add that to my list. It kept on putting new pieces in. The array is what lets you take a variable, a temporary variable, if you will, that we called item. And it allows us to put that actual variable um, into a list. And they're going to be separated by commas. So what I want to do is I want to take my array that I'm calling percent capital L because that's a I want to use it as like a global variable because I'm going to use this throughout a couple of tasks and in position one whatever item I said if I said add trash to my list it's going to take that word and it's going to put it into the first spot of that array and what happens is even though we're losing the value of that variable every time we add something new once it adds it into this array it's going to keep it there until we tell it to get rid of it so that's all I'm really doing there. Um, flash percent, I got that cut off. You don't even need that. And all we have to do there is take that, uh, send that variable over to KOWP. So it's going to push each new item. And what we want to do is when we send it over to KOWP, we want to do percent and list. And we want to put these parentheses here. That way it's going to send that whole array over there. Every single item that we've said, add this to my list, add that to my list, add blah, blah, blah to my list. It's going to send all of those things over to KOWP, and it's going to separate them by commas, okay? And so, you know, there's our task or string. You definitely want to make sure you have that, and you can call the custom variable whatever you want. I just called it list. Why not? So that's it for add, just like that. I told you it wasn't going to be as bad as you thought. Now, remove item from list. Very similar to add item to list, I want to do an auto voice recognize again. So I'm going to go remove item number. Because you, you may have noticed I said remove item number, blah, blah, blah. So remove item number, this is that same type of thing to define a variable with a little greater than, less than. We have some parentheses. We have a question mark. But then what we want to do here is we want to do 0 through 9. That's going to recognize it instead of it actually, if you say the number uh, 4, it's going to give the digit 4 instead of the number 4. And then this plus means you can have uh, other repetitions of a digit. So you could say, instead of saying, you could say four, you could say 45, and it's going to show a 45. Um, you could say 111, it should show 111. You could say, you could say 986, it should show 986. And basically, I want to say remove item number whatever from my list. If you recall a while ago, that's exactly what I was saying, and it was knocking that item off my list. So it's creating that variable called number. Again, we want to use regex here as well. And I'm, oh, well, what the heck? I can make this full screen now. I'm done talking about that piece right there. So we're removing that item number. And then once it recognizes that I've said this, remove item five from my list or whatever, it's going to run this task. I don't need to run the flash. Now I want to do array pop. Array pop is going to remove uh, an item or you know, it's going to remove an item from that array that we've created. Okay? So with that said, let's go into array pop. So array pop with the variable, this is going to be the array that we want to remove something from. What position do we want to remove? Because pop is going to remove it. 
that's going to be a percent number. That's going to be that variable that's created from my voice, whether it be 1, 5, 7, 82. You're probably not going to have 82 numbers in your or 82 items in your list, but nonetheless, that's what it's going to remove. And that right there is what's getting uh, removing that item from my list, as you saw a while ago. KOWP send variable, it, as you can see here, it's going to be the exact same thing that we had back in the uh, add item to our list because it's going to send that same variable. It's still the same custom variable. Make sure you use the same name here for your custom variable. Make sure you leave the task or string the same as well because this will send that same variable and it's going to make that item disappear or go away because we're doing the array pop. Now, all of these things here, I should have mentioned this sooner. The way you can add these things, array push or array pop, just go down to plus, uh, type in array, and you know, there's array pu push, there's array pop, um, and now the next one we're going to talk about is going to be the array clear. So I didn't mention this. I don't want to clear my list. But nonetheless, if I come down here to this profile, auto voice recognize, there's no variable creation here. All I want to do is say, if it recognizes that I say clear my list, it's going to clear every single item out. I'll do it for the heck of it because, um, but these items, those things you saw up there are reminders um, because like I said, I got CRS. So uh, there you go, clear my list. Nothing's crazy going on there. We don't need regex because we're not adding any variables or anything like that. And um, send this variable over to KOWP. But before we send that variable to KOWP, we have to say, okay, once we say clear my list, we have to do the array clear for this task. And basically, array clear, you just set the uh, array that you want to clear. It's percent list that I've been using the whole time. Notice that percent list, that capital L. The reason why I won't use a capital L, because I, won't, like I said, I was going to be using this variable in other tasks. I've used it in all three of these tasks. So you want to make sure you use a capital letter there. Um, you know, the lowercase thing I did back here, the number, where is it at? Um, the, the number where I created that variable there. Uh, I use a lowercase letter there. I'm actually using the lowercase letter within the task too because I, I don't need to use that in any other task. If you needed to use it in another task, you need to create a global variable for that. So use a capital letter. But um, as you can see here, I want to use that, that variable in many tasks. So I want to make sure I use a capital letter. If you just want to run it within a task, I think they call it local variable versus global variable in task, or if I'm not mistaken. I'm learning things as I go. And again, there may be an easier way of doing all this stuff that I'm doing here, but this is great. I, I really like this piece that I'm uh, adding to my custom live wallpaper. So those are the three things that we have there. The only thing I have haven't showed you is uh, how to put it in KOWP, but I did also haven't showed you how to clear list. So um, I, ha I don't have a button created or uh, to open up a scene in Tasker to make me clear my list like I did with the plus and the minus. But what I can do is I can do this. I'll go back and watch my video to make sure I add these items back. So here we go. Clear my list. Boom. And that reminds me, I'm glad I did this because notice it says no items in list. How do I get it to show that? Well, let's go back into Tasker. And for that uh, clear list, when I clear list, I didn't show you what the KOWP send variable was. So I'm glad I'm doing this. Um, go to configuration. And we want to, all we're doing is just sending the word, the Tasker string, no items in list. That's what's making it pop up in KOWP. Whereas those other ones, notice it's the same custom variable. Whatever you name that custom variable in your other two tasks, make sure you name it the same there. Uh, but, you know, these other ones, like this one here, when I had this task here for KOWP send variable, this right here is actually sending not percent list with parentheses. It's sending those items that are in my array. So I hope that you see the difference there. When that percent symbol is used in Tasker, it's sending a variable over there which can consist of whatever items or whatever variable it may be telling, whether it be battery percentage. In this case, it's just an array. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the, the auto voice piece. Like I said, I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do this in KOWP as well. Don't uh, Still hang out. But, um, you know, the, the thing here where I can do plus and minus, like if I want to add an item and how to type this in, uh, underwear, boom, you know, it'll add it back to my list. So I'll show you that in another tutorial because this one's already getting kind of long as it is. But, you know, last but not least, how do we get this stuff to show up in KOWP? So let's go ahead and have a look at that right now. All right, so what I have here is a stack group. 
I have all my pieces inside of the stack group because I you can save this as a component real easy and import this into any uh, custom live wallpaper that you want. You know, I can put this one on the KOWP toots on my Play Store. However, most of this stuff's done in Tasker. Um, here's the only thing we really got to do in regards to getting the auto voice to work. Inside of this stat, other stack group I have here, I have this microphone. So let's go ahead and talk about the mic. I got a fun icon, and if I go over to touch, I want to go to launch shortcut, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this again because there are some things that you want, you may want to change here. So launch shortcut, and we want to launch recognize, assuming you have auto voice. Prompt text. I don't know if you noticed this a while ago, but when I would prompt that prompt text, it would say, what item do you want to, or what do you want to do with your list? So what do you want to do with your list? I can't type a question mark as typing that, bummer, but it'll be okay. So I'm just going to put dot, dot, dot. What do you want to do with your list? You'll see that this is going to change a little bit. Um, language model, I don't think it matters. I'm going to put it on free form. Yeah, it's on free form. Uh, hide dialogue, don't need that. We, we can't do the timeout because we're not hiding the dialogue. I want to see it say, what do you want to do to your list? Because if you tap that, it's not going to bring up the prompt. And, you know, headset, I'm not doing any of that stuff. So I'm going to click check. So that's what's going to happen when we touch that. It's going to bring up that prompt and it's going to say, what do you want to do to your list? Now, if we go back to the first stack group where we had the text, let's go look at what the text says. And this is where we have to broadcast for our task or variable. And remember that custom variable, I said name it the same for all of them. We called it list. And what we want to do, this is the funny part. <laughs> um, I was scratching my head over this just yesterday because this request has been out for, I don't know, uh, about three weeks. I haven't been scratching my head over this for three weeks, but uh, this one thing here yesterday, I couldn't figure out how to um, make it so that whenever I had another item up here, I'll tell you what, let me show you this. Let me check. Well, okay. I know some of you are just waiting. All you have to do is type this code in, and basically it's going to do some regex, and it's going to look for a comma in this list. And you don't see a comma up here um, because there's only one item in the list, but it's going to search for that comma that separates all the items, and then it's going to replace it with an enter. That's what's letting me enter down. So if I back up out of here, I tell you what, let me do it, leave it like that for a second. Let me check this. Let me save it. Notice I took that enter away. That's very important. I, admit, I, I was looking for regex codes to enter a new line, and um, I, I, I can't remember the guy's name now, but he told me yesterday. Uh, you know who you are, man. I, I, it, it was just as easy as pressing enter. But let's go back to the home screen, and let's add an item. Add pay bills to my list. Notice now it's not doing it, it's not bringing it down to a new line. That's that regex where we have to press enter to make it go to a new line. And I don't know if you noticed, but watch when I press this auto voice again. Notice the prompt, it's doing that what do you want to do with your list with the dot, dot, dot. It said something different back at the beginning because we changed this auto voice recognize. So let's do one more. Add peanuts to my list. Boom, you see how it's doing? Boom, boom, boom. All right, now let's go back into KOWP and let's look. And let's go over this little regex a little bit more. Um, I'm going to take away all this stuff. Boom, 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 boom. And let's take away uh, all this stuff right about there. Notice this is what's coming from Tasker. When it's doing that percent list with the parentheses that it's sending over from Tasker, it's sending over those items with a comma. But remember, we want to search, daggone it. Okay, here's what I'm not going to be able to do. I can't use the um, shit. I can't use the shift key on my keyboard. I thought I had fixed that, so I'm going to have to exit out of this. But you know that, as you can see again there, though, it's it's going to search. When we do this other code that I had in here, it's going to search for the commas, and it's going to replace those commas with an enter, with an enter. So let me back out of this. That way, that code doesn't get jacked up. And now, if I come back in here and tap on it. Uh, the only thing I got to fix here is come. Okay, so we'll search for the commas. Notice the commas are now gone, but what do we want to replace it with? Right now it's replaced with nothing because I just have two quotation marks. But if I press enter, bam, it enters down. That's exactly what I want. It was that easy to separate them, and that's what I was looking for yesterday. So the guy who told me that, dude, I'm sorry. Um, shoot, what the heck? I, I got to gotta give you props. There it is right there.
talking to a few guys. But uh, where you at, man? Oh, saw it. Where'd you go? Gerard. I don't know how to... Limoso. Sorry if I mispronounced that. But look, man, I appreciate it. It was that easy as pressing enter. And um, by you helping me do that, I was able to get this tutorial available to you all. So, you know, there's part one, two... Um, this part two is going to come where we can come in here and I can show you how to remove an item. Suppose I want to remove pay bills. Again, that's item number two. See you later. Pay bills is gone. And again, I'm going to show you how to do this stuff in task or later on down the road. So if I want to add an item, uh, lucky drawing or whatever, or maybe you want to go buy some lottery tickets. So uh, add that, bam, it's up there. Notice that all this stuff is entering down great I love it this is one of my favorite pieces I'll probably have this on every wallpaper that I create just remember you know if um, if I when I put this on KOWP toots I want to make sure I go over how to create these scenes you still got to do a lot of the grunt work of, of making this stuff in Tasker and there you have it that's how you can use auto voice Tasker and KOWP to create a reminder list for those of us that have CRS and that's it for this video hope it helped